How is it going everyone? I'm bringing you some more information on Forza Horizon 2. This was a post on Major Nelson on September 16th, 2014. And the main topic of this video is what edition of Forza Horizon 2 should you guys buy? Now, what I did initially was I pre-ordered the physical copy, uh, which was the day one edition of Forza Horizon 2 at EB Games. And when I went there, I asked them if they had any special editions available, like the limited edition that they had available for Forza 5, and they said no. So I was kind of disappointed because I wanted to get the extras uh, that I had with Forza 5, which included, you know, a car pass. Actually, no, you didn't get a car pass with Forza 5, but it included, you know, some the VIP pass and, you know, just some extra goodies uh, that, you know, kind of set you a little bit ahead compared to everyone else who were just more so uh, casual Forza players. Now, with that being said, I was pretty disappointed with Forza Horizon 2 not having that available for me at EB Games. So what I ended up doing was I did some searching around and I found out later on that there was actually three versions available for Forza Horizon 2 that you could pre-order, which included the Day 1 Edition, the Deluxe Edition, and the Ultimate Edition. The only catch to that is that these three editions, mainly fo more focused on the, the Deluxe and Ultimate, uh, were digital only. So if you wanted to get the extra goodies that the, uh, that the Ultimate Edition, because that, that's the best one of them all, if you wanted to get those extra goodies, you were more so stuck in getting a digital version than having the physical copy. So <clears throat> to me, I was pretty disappointed about that, but I weighed the options and you know, I went with getting the Ultimate Edition and I ended up canceling my physical copy of Forza Horizon 2 day one at EB Games. Now, pretty much what EB Games offered, which is the day one car pack, that said right here, which includes the 2012 Dodge Challenger, Ford Fiesta, and the 2013 Mercedes-Benz, the Ultimate Edition gets that. The Ultimate Edition gets pretty much everything, including a car pass, uh, besides getting the case and disc. So, you know, that's, that's the only catch here, but in my opinion, if you're a real diehard player on Forza, and you plan on getting Forza Horizon 2, I highly recommend in getting the day one ultimate edition, even though it's digital, it is really worth it. And uh, that's what I went with. Also to throw in there, uh, any of these digital editions that you do pre-order, you can actually start downloading now and installing on your Xbox. So right when the game comes out at 12, you can play it right away. Whereas the people with the discs are gonna have to install it and wait 30 minutes or so for the full game to get installed. Um, that, that, that's the only difference. Um, but, you know, there's so many pros to getting the Day 1 Ultimate Edition, even though it's digital, than, you know, sticking with the Day 1 physical copy. I mean, if you're a casual player, I wouldn't recommend getting the digital copy of the Day 1 Edition. I would just go with, you know, getting it in store because it's just a lot easier, uh, mainly where you save, you know, memory space on your Xbox. Um, but besides that... <clears throat> The Day 1 Ultimate Edition, go big or go home. I wouldn't really recommend the Deluxe Edition at all because, you know, it's borderline. It's either you're going to go with the Day 1 Edition or you're going to go with the Ultimate. You know, the middle Deluxe Edition, yeah, it's pretty great. You get a lot of stuff out of it, but you don't even get a card pass, which is worth $24.99, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so if you do decide to get that, if you get the Deluxe Edition, you're going to be spending a bit more than if you would have just got the Ultimate Edition. So this is my outlook, my opinions. Let me know in the comments below what version you guys got. I mean, I'm, I'm, happy, to, uh, I'm happy to hear from what you guys have to say. Uh, please like this video. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It'll help me out a lot, guys. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks. See ya.